First thing we're going to do is cut off the head. And I think this knife, the um, fillet knife, is big enough to cut this off. So you're going to be going behind this fin here, and we're coming at an angle here. This is kind of called a collar. So we take our knife and we keep it at an angle. I could actually use a large scimitar also. Um, on a small fish, like a snapper that we'll be working with next week, and with the fluke or flounder, you'll be using your smaller knife. So for this one, I'm going to take my knife and cut it in and start it like that there. And I'm going to go right behind the collar. And I'm going to cut right to the top here. So I've cut through the fish keeping that head intact but not cutting all the way through. Now I'm going to make a cut similar to that on this side, cutting straight down right behind that fin and meeting that top cut that I did up there, okay? Now if you're working with fish that you have the head on, we have a nice method where we just take the head and turn one, two, and it comes right off. Make sure your board isn't overly filled with slime or any liquid left over from the ice so that the fish doesn't slide around, okay? Now we have a little better surface to work with. So similar to how we cut down the middle of the back of chicken, we're going to cut down the middle of uh, the salmon. I'm going to start with only a short little guideline. And I'll put my uh, tip of my knife in only about a half an inch deep. And now I'm going to just lightly, see I'm just barely going in about an inch deep. I'm just going down the top. When I get down here to the tail, whether it's a small fish or a trout or a large fish, I'm going to bring my knife through. You'll see what I mean. I'm going to bring my knife through and then come across so I can get the fillet started clean. See where I brought the knife through? Now, my blade is pressed against that bone. My, my knife is staying against that bone. There's that bone, right? That's what you want. You want to be able to see that bone on this side. When we do the other side, we're going to do it a little differently. Instead of cutting like I did, I'm going to show you a little trick. So, uh, like back to that process where I said we're going to use the knife, but we're to see how there's no sawing going on. My knife is going smooth back and forth. What I'm doing here is trying to keep this fillet intact. And I can hear that I'm going over those bones. When I get to this point where I'm only halfway, the bone comes through like that and the fillet kind of tapers down. See how that moves down like that? That's going to try to keep that fillet intact. I'm going to go from back here and go against the belly. And it should roll right out, and then you have a nice salmon fillet. Now, you could turn it over and do the exact same thing. The fish cutters have figured out a way to do it a little bit easier, so I'm going to show you that method. First, I'm going to clean off my knife. If your knife has got filled with some of the meat and it gets on the handle, you could slip. Uh, it could slip on your, when you're grabbing this. So I want to make sure that I clean that handle off. Now remember there's this bone that runs straight down the middle here. So what I'm going to do is find out where that cavity is. I'm going to put my knife up here where those top of those bones, I'm going to come through like this.
And I'm going to try to keep my knife as straight as I can. Okay. Now you're starting to see I'm creating that fillet this way. Now I'm going to use a, a larger knife, and you'll see why. So remember how we pulled that silver skin and I had you hold it that way on the tenderloin? Well, this is kind of the same way, but I'm cutting through bone. And if you listen, and move your fish. Don't let the fish pull you around. Okay. Now we have left almost nothing on there, which is a good thing. Uh, fish bones can be used for fish stock. So salmon, lean fish or fatty fish? Fatty. fatty fish, it has all that color. That's really good, healthy salmon. Col the color and the fat in salmon is really a good type of fat. 